It's a one bedroom condo. It's a 619 square foot condo, 30 minutes from Vancouver. And in less than a month, it will be home for Aaron Robinson. But most of my friends are renting and I've decided that I don't want to rent. It's throwing money away. Living in his parents' home, Robinson has been saving to buy his own place. But when it came to purchasing this $230,000 home, he didn't have enough. Sort of feeling a failure. It's like I, I'm not going to be able to own my own home. My parents sort of stepping up and saying, we'll help you out. You can do this. We did it. You'll do it too. As the price of real estate grows, so does the number of young Canadians going to the bank of mom and dad. They want to transfer that to their kids now when they're alive and can help their kids at the moment that it's needed the most, rather than waiting to eventually pass on and transfer through estates. In a recent survey of first-time buyers, nearly a third of respondents admit they got money from family to make up a down payment. In Toronto, the number was 35%, and in Vancouver, an even higher 40%. Those numbers are up significantly from previous studies done on the Canadian markets. Parents have, you know, either paid off mortgage or available savings. Um, the parents are even taking out mortgages or a line of credit. But some families just don't have enough money, and others may be handing over their fortunes to their children too soon before calculating the true costs of retirement. Oh, I think it is stressing a lot of parents out. There is pressure to give kids a hand, and along with that pressure comes a twist with market implications. By you know, giving them more money to play with in, in the market, um, you're um, helping bid up property prices perhaps too much. New numbers today show baby boomers are even driving up sales in the luxury real estate market, partly because they are helping their kids afford more expensive homes. That's not the case for Robinson. It's not a handout. It's, it's really paying it forward. Both of his parents got help from their own parents nearly 30 years ago. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Toronto.